because I don't have any. And I'd almost break my rule about smoking the house today. Uh, the title of this live stream is Come Scream With Me. And uh, fair warning to you, the viewer at home, I am going to cuss like a foul-mouthed, drunken sailor. I am very, very unamused today. I've been trying to be civil. I've been trying to behave. I've been trying to be nice. And now I'm trying not to murder anybody. Because I am having one of those days. And there's no fault of my own. I woke up. I scratched myself. I went and took a pee. I went and blew my nose because I had a hacking fit. I went and had me a cigarette. Started my coffee. And we even went outside to discuss the finer points of whatever on the internet. And I come back inside. And I'm sitting down in my damn chair at my desk. Catching up on videos. And, oh, my God, the damn devil telephone rang. And it was my cousin, Duane. I love my cousin, Duane, very much, but I do not have the mental fortitude right now that God gave a creamy fart. I am unable to deal with this horse shit today. Have you ever had to talk to somebody on the phone that you're just like inventing reasons to get off the phone and they're not letting you get off the phone, right? Well, this is my cousin Dwayne because he woke up in the morning and instead of getting up and going about his morning routine and scratching himself and going to have a leak and a smoke and a fucking cup of coffee, he decided to call and ask me about my mother. And every answer I gave was the wrong fucking answer. It's like, oh, mom's not doing well mentally. I think she's had a stroke. Well, maybe they have tests they can do for that. Have you talked to the doctor about this, that, and the other thing? No, Dwayne, I haven't had time to talk to the motherfucking doctor. I've been too busy on the fucking phone dealing with other fuck faces and trying to keep my cool while I'm dealing with fucking not being able to walk well and dealing with my mother. And, of course, I'm trying to be nice about this whole thing. And then it got to the point, he's like, oh, uh, do you know that thing that she had 47 years ago before you were alive and it's in a china closet somewhere? Can I have a picture of that? I can't remember what it looks like. I said, I'll get on it, Dwayne. When really what I'm trying to do is not get on it today. It's like I tried to be civil. I tried to be mild-mannered. I haven't even had time to call my fucking mother yet and see if she's still alive. Because my goddamn devil telephone will not leave me the fuck alone. And I've come to the point I'm not answering it anymore. Good to see you, Metal. Sorry, uh, this is going to be one of them star-spangled editions of the fucking Eat My Shorts Network, where I cuss like a damn sailor. Uh, good to see you. Onimoy. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Welcome. <coughs> you know, like, I'm not even hung over today. And that's a mystery to me, because I, I got quite shithoused last night. Forgot dinner, because I didn't feel like dinner. And, you know, like, then I had cold chicken strips and then passed the fuck out, right? And then the damn fuckers upstairs decided to vacuum at 3 o'clock in the morning. And if you live in an apartment and you can hear what I can only describe as tap dancing and football cleats, you know, some goddamn river dance. Oh, yeah, can it today? I've already told people, like, if you come invade my house, somebody is getting shot. It's like, even if you know it's me, I said, let's put it this way. If I don't have given you written permission and consent to deal with the problem today, the answer is go fuck yourself and die. And, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's another thing. I was telling him about my fucking aunt, right? He's like, well, what's your aunt Colleen had to say about all this? It's, oh, she's got opinions about fucking everything, bro. And I don't want to deal with them. It's like, and it was so bad the other day. Good to see you, Canna. It was so bad. Like, I felt my doorknob unhinging because she was trying to use the key to get in, right? And it's like, go away. I'm not letting you rifle through things. I'm not letting you touch stuff. We have a system in place. Me and the butthole sister will deal with it. You stay out. So, but your mommy wants this right now. I'm like, I do not give a fuck. And finally, it got to the point she kept trying to shove the door open. I backed up and drew my fucking nine millimeter. I'm like, you get out of here or I'm shooting you as a burglar. And at that point, she understood. Oh, 
I think he's serious. Like, you bet your fucking sweet ass I'm serious. Oh, yeah, I've been dealing with all kinds of manner of fuckwit today. Like, I do not have the mental fortitude to deal with this shit. And it's like they ask me 50 million questions I don't know the fucking answer to. Like, I don't know is not the acceptable answer anymore. Apparently, I'm supposed to know everything. Jumping shit. You know, like, I I'm getting tired of this crap, bro. Like, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to change my fucking phone number when I move. And not giving it to anybody. Except for you, the viewer at home. Because drunk dialing the internet makes drinking time more fun. <clears throat> But, like, this shit is driving me nuts. Like, I know he's got a job to go to. He works at fucking McDonald's, you know? And he's, like, calling me and, and telling me what I'm going to do and what I need to do and when I need to do it. I was like, Dwayne, I can't do this right now. He's like, why? Let's talk about it. I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. I want to be left alone. I haven't had five minutes to scratch my balls yet today. And then my mongoloid's fucking aunt's been bothering the shit out of me constantly. Then my sister has been calling me every 10 seconds because she needs this out or the other thing, trying to figure out how to get in mom's tablet so we can pay the bills so I don't lose the internet and the lights. Right? And it's like, jumping shit! You know, like, what do you... What? Why does anybody ask me anything? Right? I, I mean... It's like, why? They always think I'm fucking retarded. You know? And it's like, if you think I'm retarded, then why do you ask me questions? Like, you can't have it both ways here. Okay, either I'm stupid and I don't know anything or I know everything. Which is it? I give up. Like, I tried to be reasonable today. I tried to be civil today. I tried to be productive today. And failing all of that, I'm going to be a jackass. Fuck. Fuck. I'm ready to start drinking during the day. I haven't broke my rule about that, by the way. I've been serious about it. I've even been tapering down. But I have had it up to my fucking, just my fucking eyeballs with stupid people today. Like, like, am I wrong? Do you have a Dwayne in your family, right? Do you have one of those people that you cannot get off the fucking phone with that wants the answer to everything and then when you give the answer to everything, then they give you their correct answer, and then you agree with them, and then they still give you the same fucking answer, and then repeat it 12 times. I mean, this is frustrating as fuck. Well, yeah, here's the thing. I didn't answer the phone because I thought it was a nursing home or some shit. I wasn't even thinking about it. And then fucking if I don't answer, then these buttholes send other buttholes to come check in on me and behave like buttholes. Damn it, it's too early for me to scream like fucking Cornholio in the middle of the day. Like, jumping shit, it's not even 11 o'clock. I haven't even got my fucking chicken strip set. I just sitting down, I had a bite of chicken, you know, and I'm letting this guy bump his gums and shit, and he's not letting me chew my fucking... Oh, see, so you're the Dwayne, huh? Are you the one that asks the question and is argumentative with everybody, like, when you're doing it? You know, I love Dwayne, okay? Like, I love him, but, like, when, when I give you the answer 12 times to the same fucking question and it has not changed, I do not need re-interrogated about it. And I'm being told, well, did you go get your x-rays yet? So, no, I've been helping my fucking senile, crazy, disabled mother who's probably going to die soon, get comfortable at the nursing home and dealing with yard bastards, hangovers, fucking inability to walk half the time, having to do all my adult chores, and still explain myself to people. Something's got to give here. Like, jumping Christ. Like, what have I done to deserve this? You know, like, I know, and you, you kept telling me, too, well, I know you don't believe in God very much. I'm like, oh, God, not the God conversation today. Please, not the God conversation. Well, I've been told, and I think this is true, that Jesus don't give us any more than he can handle. I call bullshit on that because he gave us women and bills. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, you gotta love that. You know, people can't figure your fucking name out. But, I mean, for shit's sakes, man, like, I can't get anything done today. I was supposed to have a relaxing day of trying not to fall down or die. But, no. 
I have to explain myself and fucking do things, and I don't want to do any of it, man. Like, what the, what the actual flying fuck? You know, like, I can't win for losing today. I mean, what have I done to deserve this? Why are people calling me asking me questions? If I don't know anything, yeah, I'm glad it's not you either today. It's just my fucking turn. Let's all dump on me. Let's figure out everything from the crucifixion of Christ to the fucking Holocaust that I'm responsible for. And you know, the sad part is I brought this all on myself by being a good son to my mother, or trying anyway. I haven't always been a good son, but I've tried. And because I did my job, I am getting fucking punished for doing my job by having to deal with stupid people and answer their stupid fucking questions. The question and answer segment of the Eat My Shorts Network is over. You know, you want a gun question answered? I can answer a gun question. Right? You, you want fucking, why do dogs have cold noses? I don't know. Fucking Jesus Christ on a bicycle. Now I gotta go and get a piece of toilet paper for my nose, because we're out of fucking Kleenex, and I'm not spending good booze money on fucking nose tissue. Damn, dirty son of a drive me fucking drink already during the day. I got him sitting there pounding on something, like trying to get off the fucking phone. I even tried to hang it up once and he just called right fucking back. It's like, go away! Leave me alone, you dirty pig fuckers. It's, it's like, I feel like Hunter S. Thompson today. Tell me about the goddamn golf shoes. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm glad you think it's fucking funny. <laughs> I'm glad everybody thinks it's fucking funny. I find it funny. I'm so fucking annoyed, I can't quit screaming, and I find that shit fucking funny. It's like, I, I believe there is a fucking... Oh, blow me with soap, Fuego. I don't even want to talk about it right now. I'm going to, mind you. You know, like... I am literally answering all these questions, and it's like, I don't know the fucking answer. God damn it, I have chores to do. I haven't even called my mother yet today because you won't get off the phone. Jesus. I'm convinced there's a conspiracy to do this shit to me while I'm drunk in the nighttime. And they attack their plans in the morning. This has to be a coordinated strike. There is no way in nature this could be organic. <clears throat> like, I can handle dealing with one or two problems to a time that my feeble-minded primate brain, brain is not fucking doing. I can't get one fucking thing done I want to do. I can't even sit down and watch my fucking videos that I missed last night because I decided it was time to get drunk. It's like, leave me alone. If you see Lady Smith and whoever else popped in, uh, I'm keeping a fucking uh, a, a loose eye on the chat. Like, I just, I need a vent, okay? And I don't mean the kind that you shove up your ass to let all the fucking carbon dioxide out. <sighs> My head's gonna explode, man. Like, like I, I'm like right in the middle of my breakfast, too, kid. It's like, I knew I shouldn't answer the fucking phone, but if I don't, they won't leave me alone, and the buzzing of the telephone drives me nuts. And if I shut it off, then I miss mom's phone call. Jumping shit, man. These people can't fucking wipe their ass without fucking asking questions. And I'm having to explain myself. And I'm tired of explaining myself. And he's like, well, you can just clean out that apartment and mom come home. I'm like, no, I can't. Because Jew cocksucker landlord won't fucking fix anything. Yeah, good to see you. Oh, shove that fucking salad right up your fucking non-existent bubble, Wigo. Shove it, shit. This ain't funny anymore, bro. 
Like, this is why people turn into mass shooters. Okay, the stupid shit like this piling on. That's about the only talent I have as a grown up today. Like, the more things annoy me, the more I curse and swear, and you guys laugh at home. You know, come laugh at my suffering. Ha ha ha, point at the fucking caged animal and keep poking the grizzly bear. I was being told, no, you're wrong. You can't do things that way. I said, I just did. It's already done. You know, and then on top of that, he's like telling me, oh, if your mom's still in there at Christmas, you've got to tote, oh, 5,000 pounds of her Christmas stuff down there and set it up in a room. I'm like, no, I don't. No, I don't. He's like, you mean if she asks you to do it? That, that you won't do it? I'm like, that's fucking right. I won't do it. I'll refuse. I'll choose gun violence. The answer is no. Well, that's not very nice. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I don't have it in me. Jesus Christ. Argue with me some more. Please, please argue with me more. And he can finally tell after about 45 minutes of this horse shit that I'm tired of talking about. Uh, the first 10 minutes on the phone were fine. And then he started repeating himself and kept asking me hard questions over and over. It's like he sits there with a goddamn list and a piece of pen and a fucking little, a little fucking paper. And he's like, ooh, ooh, poke the fucking, yeah, this is good. Let's ask him about Christmas because clearly I'm thinking about Christmas in fucking March. Who does that shit? I don't know if I'll have a fucking house at Christmas time, and he's he's worried about me putting up a fucking tree for my mom in the nursing home. Ugh, here I, I am ready to snap. Oh, Jesus, yeah, I bet my fucking neighbors, if they're even home today. Oh, yeah, I know. I love that, don't you? That's an airsoft gun. There ain't nothing soft coming out of that fucking gun. I'm angry because I have to answer questions from stupid people and they won't let me get off the fucking phone and I have other things to do like fucking take care of myself, try not to fucking fall down, you know, and all of this, all of this shit while I'm taking care of my fucking disabled mother in the nursing home and worried about my fucking housing situation and motherfuckers are like, oh, but if you just do this, it'll all go away. I'm like, yeah, and you know what? Maybe if I put my thumb up my ass far enough, it might milk my fucking prostate. But that's not going to help me now. Well, I don't know. Fuck it. Let's just try shoving the thumb up her ass. Not really, because I'm not going to, but goddamn. You know? It's like they, they, they want to explain them shit. Oh, fuck your applesauce right up the ass. You always have the way of poking the fucking bear with me, don't you? Yeah, it's making me fucking smile, but... I mean, good God, man. Like, like, if I tell him to get a job, he works at McDonald's, you know, and he's like 60-something years old. And, of course, he had fucking brain damage from when he got COVID. And so he's got to repeat himself 47 times to me until his phone starts beeping. And his fucking pea brain is off on the next fucking subject. <sighs> you know, it, it's fucking... Idiocy. It's fucking idiots deluxe today, man. And of course, I haven't even been able to call my mommy on the phone yet because the fucker won't quit ringing. It's like, Jesus Christ on a bicycle, leave me alone. You know? Oh, and then, you know, like last night, I couldn't fucking drink until later than I wanted to. I will not even, I don't even feel like tossing a salad today, okay? You know, it's like, leave me the fuck alone with these psychotic fucking questions, you cunts. Like, stop it. Like, no more question and answer time. And I'm even telling this shit on the phone. I'm like, Dwayne, I have to go to the bathroom. Dwayne, I have to do the laundry. Dwayne, mom's calling. Nothing was getting him off the phone. I even pretended like I dropped the phone and hung up. He called right fucking back. It's like, God damn it, go away. No. Fuck me. You know, and I had to, I couldn't even fucking drink when I wanted to yesterday because I had to deal with my butthole sister and carry like 500 pair of pants out of the car. Mom is one old person, okay? Give her like three pairs of pants, you know, two spares for when she poops herself, 
She don't need 500 goddamn pair of the same color fucking pants. No, Dwayne's fine most of the time. He's just fucking annoying the shit out of me today. It's like, Dwayne, I don't have any more answers. And he's like, oh, yeah, but you got to go set up a Christmas tree for your mother. And I, it's fucking March, you goddamn communist. What kind of a sick fuck wants a Christmas tree up in March? And he's like, well, you have to do it. You have to do it. Motherfucker, I will choose gun violence every time. I'm not joking. He's like, well, that's no attitude to have. It's fuck your Christmas. Like, I do not know where the fucking decoration that she had that was made out of popcorn 47 years ago is in this fucking house, nor do I care. Yeah, tell me about it, Joseph. It's fucking apparently he's living in a fucking... You ever seen that movie Deuces Wild with fucking Brad Renfro or whatever in it and fucking Stephen Dorff? Well, yeah, like I said, you know, at least Halloween's a fun fucking holiday. But you know that crazy bird fucking, you know, threws a ball can at the one guy was fucking around with and her mom was dancing around, jingle bells, jingle bells, 500 fucking degrees outside in the Bronx in the 1950s and they're dancing around fucking jingle bells acting crazy and shit. Oh yeah, Elvira's got a fucking nice rack on her. Even as an old bird. That's a big fucking mountain. That should be America's new mountain range. You know? Maybe she's Italian. Good to see you, pair. Yeah, that was a cool video you did this morning. I, I just haven't had the mental fucking wherewithal to fucking comment today. Like, I have not got one thing done I needed to do today. It's not even that I want to do the things. I don't. But I'm going to do them. But I cannot get one fucking thing done. Between the sister calling every fucking seven seconds because she's trying to figure out mom's banking information because I don't know the fucking answer. But I'm supposed to know the goddamn answer, and I don't know the answer because I never did the banking fucking shit. And then to fucking trying to feed myself and the fucking devil telephone ringing again and me can't get off the fucking thing, it has me in a piss poor fucking mood. What message hit and where? I will never eat my salad. You could hold a gun to my head and I'd end up taking it away from you and then make you eat the fucking salad. I don't even feel like tossing a salad day. In fact, throw some fucking salad emojis at Fuego so she'll shut up. Fuck. What the hell is the matter with people today? Like, like, is it national fucking lead paint chips and salts a day? Is it national fucking stupid question and answer segment of the damned eat my short show? Like... I would actually eat Say, yeah, right on. There you go. Yeah, put Fuego in the corner. Nobody puts Fuego in the corner. Well, the metal just put Fuego in the corner. Fucking shit. Been a day, man. Like, like do you have days like this where you say, I'm going to get up and be a, a hardworking, functioning, productive member of society, and I'm going to try really, really hard not to fucking grab anybody and strangle them. And then 10 seconds later, your phone rings. And next thing you know, three hours later, you still haven't got your fucking breakfast date. You know? Good to see you, John. But I mean, come on, man. Like, like who? Who? Who is that fucking insane? They want Christmas in fucking March. I mean, Jesus Christ, I think we just passed green beer and blackout season, didn't we? It's not even fucking Oktoberfest. You got five or six months till that. Like, like, who the fuck does this shit? You know, and, and like I'm being tortured by demon fucking clocks that ding and ring and fucking make obnoxious noises. There's that Christmas clock in there. I'd love to shoot off the wall. That's annoyed me for decades, right? <clears throat> you know, like people have this fucking grandiose fantasy that I have all the energy in the world to fucking deal with their bull... Yeah, that's what I call it. Green beer blackout season, Lady Smith. Good to see you. But they're like, oh, well, you can go up there and you can decorate a Christmas tree for us. No, I will not. She's like, yes, you will. You'll do it. You'll do it. And I'm like, no. Dude, he's acting like one today. It's like, Dwayne, I've slammed my dick in the door. I have to go so I can swear. He's like, I don't care. I'll hold. I'm like, no, nah, you pig fucker. I mean, for fuck's sakes. Like, like, it, it, is, is it National Stupid Question Day? 
Like they say there are no stupid questions, but only stupid people say that. All right, have fun. Yeah, 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 I know. And damn salad. I deserve the salad today, apparently. It's National fucking Assault Joe's Sensibilities with Green Vegetables Day. But I mean, who the fuck does this shit? It's like these people have this grand conspiracy. It's like, okay, I'm going to call and annoy him while he's scratching his balls. I'm going to call and annoy him while he's fucking having his coffee. I'm going to have the phone ring in the middle of his morning rant. I'm going to bother him just as soon as he lights a fucking cigarette and make him go look for something on the other side of the house and then accost him with fucking why nots when he won't do it and he hangs up the phone and throws up the garbage can. Then they have the, I'm going to call while he's eating his fucking breakfast. Like, there has to be a schedule. This is a coordinated attack on my fucking morning. I mean, what kind of a... A sick, sadistic fucking psychopath is like, oh, you can take up a Christmas tree for your mom. My mother doesn't know what a Christmas tree is right now. She's that senile. <laughs> like, who the hell wants to haul 5,000 pounds of Christmas decorations to a fucking nursing home? <clears throat> Like, does anybody have an answer here? Anybody got an answer here? Because I don't. Like, like, seriously. Yeah, you would. I haven't even got my fucking cigarettes rolled yet today. It's like I'm I'm trying to fucking get my adulting shit done, and they won't leave me the fuck alone. I even ignored the phone, and it just kept buzzing for 20 minutes. I'm surprised it's been quiet now because I've probably cussed enough people who are like, okay, okay, we don't want him to go out and commit a mass casualty event with relatives that look like the offending party that annoyed him today. We're going to tone it down for about 12 minutes, right? And then we'll start in again just right as he gets his fucking snoot in the vodka. And rest assured, there will be my snoot in the vodka tonight. Fuck sakes. They do not make handles big enough to deal with these kind of problems you get a handle on. Like every seven fucking seconds, it's this or that, a fucking text. And like you, the viewer at home, I like talking to you. Okay. I do because you aren't fucking mongoloids except for Fuego. She's half mongoloid most of the time, but it's fine. <clears throat> hey, that's a great idea. No, I have not pulled out the cup yet. It's still in the fridge. Why Drunk Joe leaves a full glass of vodka, I do not understand. <clears throat> it's like I get up, make a drink, take it back to the chair, realize, ooh, hey, snack. And then I wake up fucking with my tongue feeling like sandpaper, wondering what the hell happened last night. It's always that one drink that gets you. But I like that idea. Take him an air freshener and say, here's your fucking tree. And you know, the worst part about it is, is he probably called my mom and was like, oh, he can come bring you up a Christmas tree. That's probably where he got the fucking idea. It's like, who does this evil shit? Like, they're the ones riling me up about this, that, and the other thing. I'm like, oh, by the way, since you're hopping around on a cane and fucking blah, 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 blah. Hey, here, can you go look for this one random offending, annoying object? Clear across the house, it, it buried under 500 pounds of God knows what. We know we've had you tear the house apart 15 times and try and put it back together today, but can you just humor me a little longer? And when I tell them no, then they cry about it. So I can't win. It's like, fuck's sakes, man. Like, you ever wonder why men drink too much? This is the reason why. Okay, there are many reasons why, but this one is fucking mine. Jumping shit. I mean, these people are fucking psychopaths. They have to be. They have to be part psychopath. Like, I realize I call women fucking psychopaths all the time. They're little psychotic little robots. Their batteries never run out. But this is like some fucking National Lampoon shit. You know, it's like Cousin Eddie, but with a fucking liberal communist mindset of, well, you're going to do what the fuck I say because I have an opinion. The fuck I am, you cocksucker. I refuse. I refuse to be abused. Oh, yeah, not you, though, my fucking ass. You're a spoiled-ass Disney princess. Don't even fucking try and play innocent today. You've probably done more obnoxious things today than my cousin Dwayne has. 
You've probably crop dusted your cat Tippy, walked by him and cut a salad fart and scared the little mongoloid up the wall, and then blamed one of your kids for it. So don't even give me that shit, okay? You're a cat crop duster, somebody who farts at their cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she laughed because it's probably true. She's like, oh, it was just a creamy one. I didn't know. Uh, I had to change my shorts after. Uh, I can't stop eating salads. Fuck's sakes, man. You know, it's like the psychotic shit has to come to a hold. Every guy talks my lunch. I can't talk to her right now. I'm on call. No, no, no. Yesterday's fucking night. Like, I saw her and she looked like death warmed over. She couldn't even close her mouth. She was dribbling. That is how fast her cognitive decline has fucking declined. And people are like, oh, well, she gets to come home soon and blah, blah, blah. It's not going to happen. Stop lying. I'm not lying. I'm just trying to give you hope. Hope and what? <laughs> I give up, man. Like I've tried to be a functioning, positive, productive member of society today, and I can't win. There has to be some grand fucking conspiracy. Like, like seriously, okay? I am starting to come to the conclusion that people all fucking talk to each other. <coughs> Hacking my damn guts out. <coughs> See, KP. There has to be some grand conspiracy that they're like, ooh, we're going to all text and call each other. And when he's a hungover pair of shorts in the morning, or he's not hungover, but he's having a hard day, then we're going to tactically assault his sensibilities with our stupid questions. <laughs> like, seriously, who does this shit? <sighs> Stomach's upset, they because I haven't even eaten yet. I can't fucking calm down enough to get fucking food in. wonder why the grizzly bear has ripped their face off and turned it into a pile of hungover bear shit. Stupid bastards. There has to be a yard bastard infestation of stupid people out there just all wanting to fucking be involved in my shit. Like, get off my case, man. Find a new whipping boy. Take a year's shit. over here fucking carrying on and swearing like a deranged fucking cockatoo, you know, in the middle of the fucking day. Fucking bullshit. Fucking garbage. Fucking garbage. Fucking garbage. Like, this is what happens when you deal with stupid people. It makes your fucking head hurt. My primitive fucking primate male brain is not capable of dealing with stupid questions today. You eat a salad, they just stop. Yeah, that's the greatest fucking... Lie going on. I've been ignoring shit. Oh, Dwayne's liberal as fuck, too. Oh, my God. Is he ever. He is... He is one of those people that's like, I'm going to vote for Bernie Sanders because I like his attitude. I'm like, you fucking communist. Like, please don't involve me in this. <sighs> yeah. Fucking... I feel like fucking... Doing something to him today. I, I don't even know how to handle the fucking problem. I'm just glad everybody's fucking amused by my suffering today. You know, it seems the more annoyed that I get, the funnier it is for you, the viewer at home. And I'm glad for that. That's why I do this shit. But, like, you can feel the fucking annoyed 
in my day. Good to see you, Rooster. Like, with the devil telephone constantly ringing, being told what to do, and being treated like a fucking human tote bag, then being bothered during my ball scratch, my coffee, my cigarette, my video, and then on top of that, being fucked with while I'm trying to eat my damn breakfast. Like, stop it. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, you know? If I enjoyed yourself yesterday making a nice wet, sticky spot on the guest room bed for your sister to fucking lay in. Don't think I won't tell her about that, too. Y'all are nasty leaving fucking jism stain and snatch brine all over the place without cleaning the sheets. At least lay down a fucking towel first. You know, fucking degenerates. I hear noises. Things are making noises. It's probably them trying to get the fucking nut house to dart me and take me away. They would, too. That's why my cornered corner is activated. My rifle's out. Like, fucking one knock at that door today. Somebody's going to see Jesus real fucking soon. Like, I've tried to be cool about everything. I've tried to be nice. I've tried to fucking be civil. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got to tell her to bring a black light, too, in a biohazard suit. Because you're all leaving pecker cheese and snatch brine all over the place up in that bitch. <clears throat> Don't test me. I'm already testy. Testier than nutsack today. You know? And it's finally like, Jesus, fuck. You know, and I haven't had to deal with the mongoloid ant in a couple of days. And I, I dodged a bullet on that one by fucking having to put up with the sister long enough to get the stuff so that she can third party transfer the shit to my aunt so I don't have to do this. Like... Like, when did this fucking daily oversight committee become the sort of fucking Damocles over my head? And I know the answer. It was, like, literally the day my dad died. And they're like, I'm going to get involved in your shit. And, and I was just so broken I couldn't stop it at the time. And then by the time I got to the point where I got tired of it, the more I fight it, the worse they get. When mom's dead, God forbid, you know. It's going to happen someday. I know it's going to happen someday. Well, guess what? I don't have to deal with these fucking people anymore. Change my fucking name. Change my number. Fucking go hide somewhere in Latin America. No, I'm leaving her the fuck alone because I don't need any more crazy in my life right now. Don't even... I'm not even going to fucking open that goddamn can of worms. Well, she was mad at me for the last time I told her no. Fucking, yeah, I ain't even going to go within 500 fucking feet of her. I can't click that right now. Or it'll kick me out of my live stream or something will happen. Good to see you, Cher. Yeah, we're having a come swear with Joe day because Joe can't get anything done because of mongoloids. I know, make the word mongoloids great again. You know, the internet seemed to enjoy that when I reintroduced one of those old man words. <coughs> It's like, fuck me running. Like, like who does this shit? Like, like what kind of an evil jackass is like, oh, uh, you're going to go set up a Christmas tree for your mom. It's like, it's green beer and blackout season, you fuck. Yeah, that's a blast from the past. Trust me, I got lots of mean old man words in my vocabulary. I try not to use them all in the same day. Uh, I, I'm failing very miserable at that today because... I've been dealing with the stupid people. You know, it's pretty bad when a man can't sit down and eat microwaved chicken strips left over from yesterday without having to fucking explain himself to another human being that has the mental acuity God gave a creamy fart, right? Just like Jiffy peanut butter, only of the pudding in your shorts variety. <laughs> and you don't have to just tell somebody once. You have to tell them five or six hundred times before they accept the answer and after enhanced interrogation, then what happens is they move on to the next set of questions and answers. I'm like, I haven't had time. Shit. You know, it's like, who? Oh, I'm making my fucking head hurt today. That's why I went live here, so I can blow off some fucking steam. It's like, <clears throat> I've been like ready to throw shit half the day. It's like, fuck off, leave me alone. You know, but no, they're not leaving me alone, bro. Like, what kind of an ignorant fucking human being, like, makes you literally have to fucking hang up your phone, drop it in the fucking trash can, go hide outside in your cornered chair, have a cigarette, hide from the yard bastards, 
I don't actually have a hangover today. I have a headache. Here's a the difference. I always love that, too. People are like, oh, you sound hungover. Does that mean you're drunk? So, no, it means I was drunk yesterday, and you can go fuck yourself. I refuse to answer any question and answer segment involving me and alcohol, because it's none of your business. Like, oh, well, you know drinking causes problems. Like, yeah, mostly a hangover. <coughs> and stupid people asking you questions. I don't know, blow my damn nose. I can't. And no, I'm not taking the roll of toilet paper to the desk with me. I'm not quite that ignorant white trash yet. Everything is either broken, dirty, or fucking defective around this place. Shit. Am I wrong? Do you guys have days like this, or am I the only one? Like, like, do you guys at home ever have one of those days, like, where your body isn't working very well, and you're already having a bad time, and people compound to the problem? Like, do you have those days? <clears throat> no, I'm actually trying to keep Hop the Easter Bunny out of trouble lately. Oh, see, you understand, Cher. Do you have a cousin Dwayne in your family, too, who's like a liberal communist who wants to talk about shit? Well, yeah, of course, you're a Disney princess. You probably get out the fucking leather bondage gear. No, don't even fucking front, you damn pervert. Of course, now I'm fighting a rogue mustache here. Yeah, see, much tested. Well, what's your Dwayne in the family, huh? Do you have a Dwayne in your family? One of those people that just fucking, like, make you question your existence and your belief in God because they're so stupid? Nothing in nature should survive this long being stupid. Oh, you have an Aunt Judy. You don't have to answer it. I know you got problems. Okay. Good. God, Rooster, that sounds horrible. It doesn't matter which end it's coming out of. But, like, seriously, like, do you ever have one of those days where you wake up and you know something bad's going to happen and you still go through the motions anyway. I didn't rogue mustache hair and the fucker's driving me nuts. Don't you hate that? Mustache hair goes directly for your nose and you can't find it to yank it. You know, like, like you get it, right? Like I woke up. Well, what's your Dwayne's name in the family? Right? What, what's their name? Like, we all have a Dwayne in our family, and I've had to deal with mine today. I think he tried to call me the other night when I was shithoused, and I had just said, oh, I was asleep, and I didn't answer the phone. I knew the damn phone ring, and I didn't answer to anyone. I was pretending to not be home. And so because I didn't deal with it after I'd been drinking, I have to deal with it when I'm sober. Son of a bitch. Metal, give Fuego a spanking for a minute for that salad comment. Oh, you have a Nick. See, somebody has an Aunt Judy. Somebody has a Nick. I have a cousin, Dwayne. We should make our own Lampoon family fucking vacation for these people. Nope, give her a minute, Metal. She's getting spanked for that. She might not have much of an ass, but it's going to be red and sore, at least here in the chat. 60 seconds. Thank you. Good shooting, sir. You get the cigar. It's upper respiratory infection. It was horrible. It's still lingering a bit. That's fucking terrible, Cher. I'm sorry. Did you see Ed? Oh, no, that's been my whole day. Like, you know, it's it's been between pig fucker, leave me alone, dirty cocksucker, son of a bitch, uh, uh, what else is it? Uh, 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 Jesus Christ on a bicycle. That was my earlier fucking tirade. Yes, we did, because she keeps fucking with me, and I give her a damn spanking. You know, I hear Ed, and you know what? Fuck. I'll do it. Why the hell not? Hold on. Remove as standard moderator. Hold on a second here. We're pushing buttons. Hold on. All right. Ed uh, as moderator. Managing moderator. There you go. Bam. Oh, I know, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Like, if we get all of our, like, Cousin Dwayne's collectively together, 
when we turn them loose on some offending country in the Middle East. <clears throat> CNN. Oh, see, yeah, you got one of those. He hated St. Kyle. Oh, yeah. Isn't that wonderful? <clears throat> yep. Anytime, man. Like I said, you know, we aim to please here at the Eat My Shorts Network. And so please use good aim, please. Right? I've just, frankly, I've been having a pig fucker of a day today. It's like I want to get things done and failing getting things done. I'm just sitting in my chair being fucking cornered. Like I can't even fucking adult today. Like, like they will not leave me alone. There's an infestation of yard bastards, upstairs bastards, telephone bastards, fucking everybody else is fucking conspiring against me. Yeah, well, you see, that's my point, Rudy. Like, you know, they're like bringing you a salad. I'm like, I'm not paying for that. I won't eat that garbage. It's like, why? Well, it's vegetables. They're good for you. I said, cook them first. Put them in soup. Like, bringing me raw vegetables is not food. Like, we have been over this until I'm blue in the balls. Fuck's sakes. Yeah, and my lady had an extra and did not bother about drug debts and didn't understand why the fuck DCF took her kid to her lack of work and only being loved parenting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good to see you, NYC. We were having a nice big old swear fest about my cousin Dwayne. Yeah, there you go. See, Rooster? She can have a good old time with that salad. Right? She's making blue cheese. Yeah, well, like I told you, Ed, you know, like when your lady friend leaves you riled up like that, you got to pull out the big guns, you know, the little nipple twist, the bite on the ear, the come on, baby, I got something for you thing. Here, just put it in your hand, you know, talk them into it. I'm not saying be all rapey and pervy, but like you get them pushing on their fucking buttons, eventually they will rape you. You know, trust me, I have spent my adult life being a drunken fucking degenerate who knows how to make women take their clothes off. You know, I am very skilled at that. Uh, and it's gotten me in more trouble than I care to admit over the years. And in my defense, I didn't know some of these women were married. Okay. I only found out after the fact. I felt really bad about it for like 10 seconds. You know, it's like, but you don't think to ask somebody like, you're not married, right? Like the way they're taking their clothes off or your clothes off. It's like, okay, how about it then? Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't, don't be molesting drunk girls unless it's your old lady already. Like, that's a little different, you know. Like, once you've already been acquainted with them in that matter, and they're drunk, and they want to jump your bones, uh, that, that's, that's kind of one of them things. Who's getting 10 seconds here? What, you want another timeout, Fuego? Is that it? You want to go stand in the corner? Hmm? Hmm? Inquiring minds want to know. You, you want spanks today? Hmm? I feel like a fucking what's the name of that damn fucking movie? Uh, the Breakfast Club, right? You know, uh, like where he's like, "You want another one? Yeah, how about it? Well, you got two more. How about that?" You're like, yeah, I know, I understand the mindset in that today. And having one of those argumentative days. No, you're not. You can't quit me. I'm like an infectious disease. I, I just come back over and over and over again. And leave you itching and burning in all those special places that you don't really want to show the neighbors. Or that you did show the neighbors and then it starts itching after. Right? I've had that happen before. Yeah, she's all right, man. She's just giving me a hard time today and I'm talking shit. It makes me feel better. Like, literally, I needed to come talk shit for like an hour. <clears throat> you know, I've got to get calmed down so I can call and check in on my mommy and tell her, Oh, like, you've never had fucking VD. Oh, that's right, you haven't, because you're a Disney princess. Well, it's not that big of a deal. It goes away with some antibiotics. <coughs> yeah. yeah. We're all around. Ain't nobody going to hear you for miles. Yeah. Just like fucking Canadian Prepper and Gray Man, you know. They're up in the woods together. Next thing you know, Tom Arnold shows up with his middle finger, wets it in his mouth, and then shoves it up Edward Furlong's butthole like an animal factory. Oh, yeah. I know how that's how them goat herding trips in Montana go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're moving on. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I've, I've made like half the internet cry today. Well, like I said, Ed, you know, 
find them magic buttons and rile her up so fucking bad she literally sits on your face. Like, like you think there's a skill in life to picking up women? They want somebody who's going to do what they're told, that probably looks good naked, that buys them stuff and treats them okay and doesn't hit them, right? And then after, they want somebody who's going to rile them up and fuck their brains out. The trick is, don't leave a baby in them. That comes back to haunt you later in life, mostly when they want money. You know, use protection, use clean needles, shit like that. Like, like be good preppers that way. <sighs> it's called a proper taco. Yeah. Is it Tuesday? I think it's like Thursday or some shit. I can't fucking remember. <clears throat> Not like it fucking matters. Oh, I haven't actually seen her in a while. Oh, but that was a wonderful show that day, man. I was sitting there, and I was having the worst fucking day. And, like, all of a sudden, right in the middle of the video, I look up. I'm like, ooh, I see a beaver. And it looks like a pretty beaver, too. I almost panned the camera up, and I thought, no, fuck you people. You don't need to see what I saw. I was having that bad of a day. I can words, too, if I choose to. I just don't choose to. Thursday is today. See, I didn't even know. But yeah, nope, we're having a come square with Joe session today because like, like if you had the day I had, <laughs> like what kind of a sick fuck in the middle of March, like we're in green beer blackout season, okay? And, and we literally are just coming out of that, getting into fucking 4th of July hot dog season, right? You know, or, or Cinco de Mayo season, which is usually tacos, Mexican girls, and a tequila blackout, right? We're not to the drinking seasonally flavored Jägermeister and fucking shivering our balls to our shorts. It's Thursday, get it right. I'll, I'll say it how I want to say it. Yeah, no, you get it, Blaine. You know what's going on. All right, on, man. Yeah, invite people to Discord. Uh, I haven't been on much lately because, like I said, uh, I've had a dumpster fire to pee out a time or two a day. <clears throat> you know, yeah, yeah, I, I, I've seen Shad's video today. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I woke up and I knew there was something going to go on today. I'm like, nope, can't think negative. Be positive. Be productive. Be a productive member of society. Be kind, considerate, and compassionate. <clears throat> Lie yourself through it. And then no sooner had I done it, the morning scratch myself was interrupted by the devil telephone. The morning smoke was interrupted by the devil telephone, right? I, I, I the fucking, my morning coffee was interrupted by the devil telephone. That fucking blows, Wayne. Well, that's my point, Fuego. I was trying to be a reasonable adult. And I said, I promise Jesus I won't strangle anybody today, but I'm going to need some help. You know? And then he's like, ooh, 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 I know what to do. I'll coordinate a tactical fucking phone hosing attack. And have to answer all the questions right now. Well, I'm not answering any more questions right now. The answer is no. Fuckers. But I, you know, you guys have a cousin Dwayne in your family. You all have one. You know, it might not be a cousin. It might not actually be in your family. But you've got that one fucking person that literally knows the exact wrong time to call and annoy the shit out of you. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sure he is. Well, you know, uh, uh, team giveth and team taketh away have uh, uh, won here, right? We know which it is. It's taketh away, right? That's always the answer. It's never giveth anymore. It's taketh away. You know, like, I'm sick of the whole process. Like, I, at this point, like, I literally would set this whole fucking building on fire and run right the fuck out the door. But then I thought, no, all my stuff's in here. And uh, if I did that, I'd probably get in some trouble and have to explain myself. And I don't really want to do that. So I can't even do what I want to do today. And it's like fucking hop on a goddamn train for Bolivia and change my name and disappear. It's just not going to happen. But yeah, these fuckers are driving me nuts today, bro. Like, good to see you, Yoda. She sent a loony house for a few days due to a breakdown and running her yard with just panties on her head. Well, was she good looking or not, though? 
You know, because like if she's a large lady, no offense, ain't nobody want to see that. Chancla Power doesn't need $300 towers. Oh, I'm in a mood, Yoda. I'm trying to be in a better mood, you know. Like inquiring minds want to know, was she good looking and what color of panties were they? I, I will be waiting for your answer. This will be on the test. You cannot tell me that a woman run around naked in her yard for a few days with a pair of panties on her head and tell me what color they are and if she was good looking or not. Because I really want to know. Hell, I might join her. No, answer me. And you know what? You, you mouth off like that anymore. I'm going to have somebody else put you in the corner. Yeah, I know. Fire does sound fun today. Like, kill it with fucking fire. You know, it's been my answer all day. We're having a rant fest in here. Uh, I've had a rotten day, Yoda, and uh, I can't get a damn thing done I want to do, so I'm just going full man-child and using all of the bad words in my vocabulary for you, the viewer at home. She worked out hard and did Ironman triathlons and main sports marathon. I was just jogging. Ooh, so she was good-looking naked. I mean, now, see, I would think up in Norway they have a kind of more laissez-faire attitude about running around with your beaver and your titties hanging out, but... Like, I, then I remember you guys are like kind of a stuffy, polite, you know, Christian Catholic thing going on there, you know. So maybe some offended church Karen got upset because they saw a nice beaver, you know, with or without the muff, inquiring minds do want to know. A little hair is okay. Just don't get Whoopi Goldberg in a fucking scissor hold, you know. Ladies, trim up your chocha muff, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I have to explain the quiet power. Oh, that's it. Metal, give her fuego another minute. She brought up the salad. Give her a spanking. Take away her fucking power of words and put her in the corner for a whole minute. Wait a minute. I wonder if I can put her in timeout. Hold on a second here. Let me let me do this. Ooh, I can put her in timeout. Well, how much? One minute? Look at me. I learned how to push a button. I gave you a spanking. No, 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 no. You can be back in a minute. Ooh, 300 seconds. That was even naughtier, Blaine. Yeah, like I said, NYC, uh, I love Fuego. She's awesome. But, like, uh, you know, uh, talking shit, you're going to get hit, right? Well, it is what it is. But, yeah, no, it's, it's like one of them running around with our fucking hair on fire days. But, you know, it's, it's fucking, like, this is the way people lie to themselves. They're like, Oh, you can change every single thing in your day, even if you can't walk worth a damn or you can't get anything done. And then life happens and you wake up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Now, I'm perfectly capable of choosing my own violence today. That's why I'm doing this is so I don't. Oh, I wish I could show you the screen right now. Fuego says, you guys are dicks. Yes, I'm sorry. That was a little naughty. And I made you laugh. I got you good, didn't I? What can I say? Uh, I am nothing if I don't have a sense of humor, right? And, and I was losing mine earlier today. My cousin Dwayne's like, well, you don't have to be so negative. So I'm not being negative, Dwayne. I'm telling the truth. There's a difference. <clears throat> you know, it, it fucking, it just bewilders me the level of fucking wonderment how much one guy can be left in. Oh, yeah, she's talking shit in the text message. Now it's like, you guys are dicks laughing her ass off. Yeah. She's still mad I called her out about leaving all that pecker cheese and snatch brine all over the house and then saying, and don't tell my sister, don't tell my sister when she comes to stay in our guest room in August. I'm like, because you told me not to tear you, tell your sister, now I have to tell your sister. 5.5 and I figure the sporty girls in my class wish they had. Well, see, there you go. Why would you get her in trouble for running around with just her panties on her head? Like, take yours off and join her. Fuck's sakes, do I have to explain everything? What the hell is the matter with Norway? Like, I mean, that if she was that good looking, she probably had a nice clam on her too. That's probably part of her problem is she needed a baby fucked into her. Like, I don't know. Iron Man on Hawaii, she like much. Well, that on. Share bear, he's willing to just come out of the shell a bit and acting a bit more like myself and he's not eating. You know, no but so far they are fine. I'm missing stuff here. Acquiring minds want to know. 
you know, but, but I give up, man. Like I'm trying to be creamy and optimistic and positive today. And then I woke up, but I still tried anyway. There's a lot of the prayer house people around it in that area. So, ah, so you had a church, Karen. Fucking send a pretty girl who was running around with just her panties on her head, right? To the fucking nut house. That's kind of that's kind of lame, bro. Like, send her to my house. I'll fucking, you know, I'll fix some problems for her. She might be a little crazier after I get drunk and piss her off. Women tend to be cray cray about them things. I was standing by for a nose blow and a cigarette. They take me on a field trip. But no. Yeah, the fucking world is crazy today, bro. Like, seriously. Man can't even eat his microwave chicken strips in peace in the morning without having to answer questions. Just double-checking risk trolls and bots when practicing links on extra cut. All right, all right. Just waiting for him to eat and drink more. What, what is the fluffy anyway? What, what is the pet? Is the guinea pig? I'm missing something here. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and mod them. Make them blue. Uh, I'm kind of said, like I said, I'm having one of them days I can't buttons today or words. Of course, I'm sure Fuego's sitting there taking notes. I'm going to fuck with him so hard when I get back. <sighs> Oh, I do feel better after a rant. This is why I do these things. Like I said, you get to live this whole experience with me. You, the viewer at home, get to see my daily life. You know, aside from my bodily functions, you know, like, you get to literally watch the burning dumpster fire that is the fucking eat my shorts. Thankfully, I have a clean pair of shorts for them all to eat in. Although they can have my dirty ones when I'm done with them. There has to be some kind of conspiracy behind all this. the weather's nice today and it's not raining because i tell you one thing rain and snow fuck me up bad like i'm just barely walking again right and i'm doing more things and i'm being more active and then like everything i need to get done today i can't get done so you know nothing's getting done Yes, I miss my mommy very much, and I hope she's doing well today. I have not even called to check on her because I've been too busy getting ambushed. Yes, this is one of the days where if I didn't have other things to do, I would break my rule about day drinking. It's just like one of them things. I've been really good since mom has been in the fucking hospital in the nursing home. Oh, oh my God, I hate you. Yeah, yeah. Wonder why, Fuego. Hold on, let's see what Shadow is missing. Most. Dude, if she was 45 and that good looking, like, somebody should have tried to make friends with her. You know, I'm just saying, like, like if I see a drunk, naked lady running around with panties on her head, I'm not calling the nut house. I'm going to see if she wants to take off my shorts and try those on for size. Hold on, much said. Uh, you're cool. You get to be blue. That's what happens here. Or just kind of watch people uh, for the trolls and stuff like that. 
Didn't do it this time. Oh, poor Fuego. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you six minutes in the corner. I was just going to give you one, but you can thank Blaine for that in the comments down below. <sighs> you know, it's fun to fuck with people, right? Like, I'm having fun right now. Don't be creamy. That's fucking gross. What are you talking about? A creamy fart? Did you gas Tippy again, you degenerate? That poor cat, no wonder why it's got that scared mongoloid look on his face. Oh, you got a guinea pig. Okay. Well, those are cute little pets. Yeah, but yeah, I don't understand the logic in that. Like, you see a drunk, naked lady running around with fucking... Well, I assume she was drunk. She might just be mentally ill. Most women are. No, no judgment, ladies. You know, we know. I'm not interested in married women either. Uh, the single ones are a problem enough. Trust me. You know, but, but you, you see a, a reasonably good-looking lady running around with just her undies on her head, not a stitch of clothes on, like logic would dictate, you might want to go. I'm like, hey, you want to hang out? You want to talk about it? Hey, I got something for you. Who did what, Metal? Who did what to Metal? Stand by. We're reading. I didn't do it this time. Oh, no, I gave you a minute, and Blaine gave you five minutes, because apparently you just got on his nerves, too. Good shooting there, right? Don't fuck with me about a salad anymore, bro. It's not funny. You know, but yeah, yeah, you know, I feel much better now. I got to vent and scream and swear for a while. You know, like I try not to be fucking uncool, but like I felt like a cockatoo bird that had been cornered. Well, welcome to the party, Ed. Women are fucking cray cray, bro. Nobody understands what goes on in their head. Well, of course, I'm missing brain cells. I missed in click five minutes. Yeah, that's fair. See, that was an accident. A little friendly fire there. Gerberries, mites, so the little better is the one. I hope your hamster, your gerbil's getting better, man. A sick pet's no fun, especially when you're your best friend. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I felt cornered like a damn cockatoo bird, bro. Like, like I didn't, and people are like, well, don't answer the phone. I'm like, you don't understand. If I don't answer, then they're coming over. And I really don't want to deal with that today. Like, my aunt, and bless her heart, I'm sure she means well in her own mongoloid way. I don't know. We're just dealing with my crazy today, Ed. Well, I'm not glad you're not sorry. If I thought you were sorry, I wouldn't have put you in charge of anything, you know? Can't be sorry about doing naughty things that way unless it's genuinely an accident. You know, then you get to be sorry about it. <coughs> but yeah, no, no, I felt cornered, man, and... You know, people are driving me fucking insane. And it's like, how do you, how do they do this? Like, they find new and creative ways to annoy Mr. Eat My Shorts every day. You know? But I give up, man. Yeah, well, that's kind of it's just one day. Somebody's like, you just need to eat a salad more. And it's like, you know what? You're going sent to the corner. Like, naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, yep, yeah, that's all right. Okay, fine. You want to play that way? Okay. No, no. There's a 10 second warning shot for you. He's just might have been a big thing, so I guess he's going to pass me drinking more than anything. Do I feel for you? Good to see you, ACM. Good to see you, Eric. <clears throat> but yes, we are helping Joe calm down so he can call his mommy on the telephone. Because mommy doesn't need to hear my bad mood today. It's not her fault, she can't help it. I felt so bad going to see her yesterday. <clears throat> and you know, she was literally sitting there. She couldn't close her lips. She was just sitting there dribbling. That's how far her mind's gone. You know, I'm seeing that coffin fuck me up yesterday. Not because of the death or whatever, because I saw a grown, hairy, bearded ass man crying like a baby. <clears throat> and it's like, God, that's somebody's old person that, that they didn't get to tell goodbye to. I didn't know you had one, Yoda. I'll have to check my community tab. Like, my community tab, I can only do on my phone, and my phone's being used constantly. So, like, if you leave a linky link in the video description or something, well, that's why we're coming to cuss about our problems on the Internet, Yoda. It's like, I can just sit here and throw things and day drink, but that's not going to help. See, ding, 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 Ed. It was just that way about it. Yeah, Rooster, it fucking gutted me yesterday seeing Mom that way. 
No, Fuego, even Mom does not have that authority over me. That's how strongly I feel on the subject. I do not want to eat my raw vegetables, and you're not going to make me. Yeah, leave a linky poo in the doodly do, you know, on the video or whatever. All right, on Eric. I hope your phone's working out. Yeah. No life updates from mom. Like mom's not doing well mentally and uh, not doing well physically either. And uh, you know, I don't think I'll have her too many more years here. You know, but I'm spending every moment of every day that I can with her. Oh, don't time me out. Uh, see, I almost want to push a button, but I'll, I'll give you a warning shot this time. Well, see, that's the correct answer, Blaine. I'm not against eating the vegetables. I just don't want them raw. You know, cook them, fry them, put them in soup, steam them, something. Like, just don't bring me a fucking plate of raw shit until, oh, I made dinner. It's a salad. I'm like, no, you made what my dinner eats. Well, don't worry. Like I said, she annoyed me enough. I figured out how to time her out myself. You know, I'm learning the buttons with you people at home. Figured people could push my buttons, I can push on some other buttons, see how they like it. But yeah, uh, I've had quite the day of uh, trying to get things done, other people procrastinating in my favor. Yeah, dude, I don't know what to tell you. It's just one of them things. Like It's all I can do is do, you know. But, you know, like, when you're sitting there and you're, like, begging somebody, it's like, listen, I really got to go. I got shit to do. And they're, like, still wanting to talk. It's like, I can't do this. Not today. But I don't know, man. It's just a whole lot of I don't know today. But I'm probably going to cut this here in a minute because, like, I need some battery life to call my mommy on the telephone. Ah, see, there you go. To hell with your vegetables, Ed said it here first, steak is the way to eat, right? Well, if I could afford them, no. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, no, no. The only vegetables I'm interested in eating are vegan girls. I have a pile of applesauce in the fridge. The shit's going to grow mold on it before I eat it. I hate the shit. I used to have to eat it as a kid. I fucking hate it. It's mom's applesauce. Yeah. Feed it to somebody else. I use it to trick a bird into coming in here for a snack if I get hungry enough and don't feel like going to the grocery store. I don't know. Yeah, I am caveman too. I also eat meat. And, you know, chickens are fairly stupid. I think they can count as vegetables. So anything that can run around for a few minutes without its head on, uh, I, I would go so far as to say that's a vegetable. That's a salad. I don't know what to tell you, man, but uh, I feel better now. Thank you for coming to to cheer me up and uh, let me rant and scream and rave and carry on for a while. You know, it's like when you get that riled up and somebody's not getting the fucking hint. Yeah, I don't like pecker from the yard bird. In. Yeah, yeah, I might eat pecker the yard bird. I don't know if I get hungry enough. Good to see you, Deb. Don't eat the Norwegian same salmon or trout. So, yeah, I've heard that, man. There's like a bunch of radioactivity and lead and arsenic and shit in the water because, like, all the U boats that got sunk there, you know, like all them lead acid batteries fucking shit up. Then people were dumping things in the ocean forever. And that's why a lot of your Scandinavian countries have to go fish elsewhere, like in fucking Somalia. Now, that ended well. <coughs> But it is what it is. I'm starting to lose my voice from yelling today. You ever have one of those days? But yeah, I'm cutting this here in like a minute so I can call my mommy on the devil telephone. Yeah, well, like I said, you got to let that shit out, Yoda. Like, like when you're feeling fucking cornered and crabby, you know, like you have to kind of pull yourself out of it. And this is my process for doing it. Cussing and ranting and raving and then going to get things done and then things fucking up and then it's time for booze booze and then wake up fucking hungered and rude. Good to see you, Pilgrim. Like I said, I hope if I couldn't be educational, I could at least be entertaining. Lean food. I should start channeling. Green tea is good for keeping up the body active. I don't drink tea. 
Let's go outside and fish outside from Somalia where the U.S. Does. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I know. That that was a brilliant plan, too. Fish farms in Appalachian How the hell do I send it private ball? Uh, I would send it like, um, I'd use your email or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, anyway, I love you all. Thank you for the support. Uh, yeah, I'll have to put the ranty back up here and make it public. For some reason, like, Mr. Ranty McFuckface, like, uh, to quote Blaine there, right? When I hit the X button, then I have to go through and then re-unhide it for whatever reason, because fucking YouTube, right? But yeah, anyway, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. I'm calling mom before I lose my voice, and uh, I will yak at y'all later.